Paco, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your time. Um, um, okay. Uh, generally, generally, how's the feeling? Uh, when you decided to come back to play in Ghana, did you think it was going to go this way? You play so well for Olympics and then find yourself in a crown hearts book. Did you think about that? Um, not really, because uh, initially the plan was to come back and relaunch myself and uh, uh, maybe to go back again, to travel again. Uh, but this year is where we are, where it didn't happen that way, which happens to to play another season for Olympics again, which um, has brought me to to to, uh, to where I am today. Uh, you know, which everybody... I never expected it. I never expected it. Yeah, you know, everybody knows that Glasnawak was a fantastic player. And your record in, in football shows what you did. Zembe when you went out, when you played in Ghana. So yeah, that was that was in everybody's mind that you were good. But to have re-emphasized that you are still the guy, you should be a proud man. Um, yeah, it, it hasn't been easy. Um, but I'm proud of myself. Though I am, I am proud. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, how difficult was it leaving the Olympics? Uh, well, I knew, I knew from onset it's not going to be that easy because of uh, the kind of people, the relationship I had with them. And they also feel this is the time they needed me most. And uh, because of the way the season went for us last season, they, they feel, no, we don't have to let this guy go. We have to keep him here and there for us to come back uh, the coming season stronger than we did this season so it wasn't easy but as a player uh i need i need to move on to to have new challenges and, and, yeah. and all that so i spoke with them especially i spoke to uh the board chairman and uh Olo Boy and, and i spoke to coach as well uh, which wasn't easy but they they have to understand that i'm human and i have to move on so they they they, they come to to, to to understand that yes, this is my work and I need to move on and have a new challenge. So uh, it wasn't easy. Ooh, it wasn't easy. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. You you had you had a fantastic season, a, a very very good season with uh, Great Olympics, and you're on the lips of almost everyone. I don't know. Uh, are you able to choose your best game? <laughs> Do you have any like your best game last season? <laughs> well, I'll. I've had a couple of games, good games I should pick from. But you know, there are these big games, uh, playing against Haas, playing against Kotoko, you know, all these matches always stand out as a player. So I'll pick uh, the game against Haas and Kotoko as my, as my best game. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. So, um, you know, when, when Accra Hasebo came calling, was it something you were expecting or you were taken aback? You're surprised? Um, initially, you know, before when I came, I made up my mind to play the league. You know, Stephen Apia tried to offer me to add to folk. That was when Grant, uh, Kim Grant was, was the coach. And uh, myself, too, I pushed. I called him, okay, this and this and that. But he was like, oh... I've done my my recruitment here and there, so I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll move on. So when this opportunity came again, Stephen Apia called me again that this is what is happening, this is what is going, and I told him, no, I will, I won't say no to to them because um, we all know how to folk, uh, the history, what our our senior men have done and the name of Akka to folk sounds in every 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 player's here. So if they should come for me, I will I won't say no and I'll I'll grab it and, and, and take the chance. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And you are here. Uh, what, what what did you on, on the sidelines, you know, when you're watching Akron Hearts Folk play, you know, before you joined them, what did you make of that team when you saw them on the pitch and you saw the you know, camaraderie between the coach and Hamza is dancing and they really had something going on. What, what did you make of the team? Um, you know, when we started the season, 
things weren't like how it is now for the club. You know, things a lot of things has changed. Like when we played them the second round, I knew we are going to play a different team. It's a different team we are going to play. So myself, I know it's not going to be easy as the first round. So I will say the new staff has, has done a good job. They've, they've done so well. And uh, um, I said to myself, I need to, 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 to be part of uh, um, uh, this uh, new set of, of uh, of us to focus, this is a new art to folk, you know. So I said to myself, I like to be part of it. And the coach, uh, of, he talks to me once in a while. Anytime he gets a chance, when he meets me, we talk. He tells me this, he tells me clubs and that. So I have in my mind too, if the coach has that trust, that believe in you, you know, you as the player, you have to try and, and, and fulfill it. So you can't go to a club where the coach is not okay with you, or maybe the management is. The management are the people that want you, you know. If the coach wants you, then as a player, you should feel confident and, and, and move into to, to that. So, yeah, they also have um, um, a say in taking the decision that I took. The, the staff is also part of it. The, I mean the coaching staff, yeah. Yeah, the coaching staff, they've done well. Uh, how have you enjoyed the love from the Accra Hearts Book supporters so far? I mean, once this was announced that, Last Nawako was had joined the crowd, so they can be very noisy. I know. How have you managed that? I, 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 I swear, like I didn't expect this. You know, I didn't from my social media and it was everywhere. They were on me, in my inboxes. They keep messaging me, like they were so happy, and that alone makes me feel so like, so like um. So welcome, yeah. I feel so so welcome, yeah. yeah. And then you could you could see people inboxing me, hey glad you are no more Olympics player, change your <laughs> your profile. Yes, yes, so yes. Then, yes. Yeah, come on, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do that at the right time. But yeah. they keep hitting on me. But I, I, I love that I love the passion um uh, uh, uh coming from the supporters as well. I, I love it and and I, I, I believe that things are going to be to be fine with the way they always want the best for the club and we also make sure that we'll give them the best right so so just take me through you know your first day at training when you when when you when you finally got there what happened your who did you meet first what went on um okay i joined them at the camp i joined them at the camp i think on tuesday wednesday dawn I joined them and I met the team. So from there, they took me to Neti, which Neti has been a, a very good friend way back in in Nguai, and we're still cool. We've been vibing through when the league was even going on. We, were, we talk most 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 of the time, and it's been very great ever since I stepped in. And it's not him alone. The, all the guys have been very very great. They've been very very friendly, very open to me, you know. And I like I like how they. They do it here. Coaches, the staff, and the players are all cool, very friendly. They joke when it's time for us to work. They make sure that we do we do uh, what's right. So I'm really enjoying my my my, my time here. And uh, when it's time for us to work, to make sure that we do we do what's what's right. Okay. So are there any targets for you, um, Gladson, as you joined Accra Hartsville? I mean, off the top of the mind of every every Hartsville fan is, oh yeah, Gladson has a lot of experience in Africa. And, and hearts are in Africa and going in, so it should be a good time. But what are your your targets? Um, yeah. Um, yes, um, it's, it's good to be part of uh, this competition to, to to take part in this uh, uh, African uh, Champions League. Um, yes, the supporters, and I know the club itself want to get to the top there in this competition which we all know that it's not that easy it's been a very long time that uh, has uh, participated in such tournaments so i will plead with the supporters they they should come down they should support us they shouldn't expect too much and we'll do we'll also do our best we'll do all we can to to get to the money zone which is not going to be easy but i know with the team 
um, we, 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 with the management, we, the support from the, the board chairman. I know we'll do our best to, to get to the money zone. So they shouldn't expect too much that, okay, we should go, 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 and, and go and win the trophy. But they shouldn't, they should limit the expectation, which will also take off some pressure off, off the team. Good. I, I've seen a lot of fans put um, Awako's picture, Salifu Ibrahim, Imano Nete, you know, they are, they are already beginning to fantasize a kind of midfield uh, you guys can, can, can build. You know, are you relishing that? Are you believing that you guys can come? You know, I don't want to put pressure on you and say it will be like Battalion 64, but there's a feeling that this is another special group. And if you look at the names uh, that are coming round, are you relishing that opportunity of having to build something great in that Akwa Hartsburg midfield? Um, yeah, with the names you just, you just mentioned, they are all great guys, very, very good uh, footballers. Um, yes, I've, I've, uh, I've played with Salifu, I've played with Nete, and I know their qualities, I know what they can do. And uh, as a player, we have uh, staff, uh, which is the coaches over there, so they know the system that will suit us best. So if it happens for us to be in that shape, yeah, we're going to enjoy ourselves. And whoever comes in as as uh, as that position to try our best to 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 adapt with uh, the system or the way the coach wants us to play. And I think the way the training, everything is going. Each and every player is ready. Uh, and I, I believe we are going to do a good work with with, with the oneness and, and the teamwork. We are going to do a good job for Accra. So for I know I know you are a top 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 professional, but uh, things are happening really fast for you. And so the Accra has a great Olympics game is not too far away. I mean, uh, have, you, have you thought about it? Are you going to manage that game when you have to play against them? Um. Yes, as you said earlier. Um. Uh, this is the profession we've chosen, so um, no more with Accra, Great Olympic, with Accra to work now. So yes, I'll do like I, I do all the time when when I'm playing. Um, I, I'm here to work, so when I meet them, I'll, I'll just do what 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 I have to do. Excellent, excellent stuff there. Excellent. So it's um, it's it's been it's been really really great. I'm sure, you know, family have called you. You got some phone calls from family uh, since you moved to Hartsville. A lot. Yeah, a lot, a lot from my hometown. Uh, my mom, my, my mom and dad went for a funeral. I think last weekend. They wherever they got to. Oh, your son. We've been hearing of your son. He's now playing for for for, for my team. They are now playing for Hartsville folks. Flourishes. Oh. Yeah, it's